Little dump off inside. Little acrobatics by Smart. Gonzaga hanging on. Stillwater, number 22, Oklahoma State at home, trailing by four. And it's been an interesting one as Gonzaga and Kevin Pangos got off to the fast start. Pangos played so well in his last game, 31 against Baylor. Well, that has continued. That's interesting. He uh, came into that Baylor game. We talked about that mini shooting slump. Mark View was never concerned. He said, young man's in the gym too much, but... He hasn't had to be the scorer this year because of the balance on this team. Harris rebounds the Brown miss. Pank goes ahead. And a turnover. Cobbins up ahead. Here's Brown. A sloppy play right now by Gonzaga. And they're just going to speed this tempo up a little bit with good ball pressure. I think the key right now for Oklahoma State is shadow Pangos pressure everybody else. And we get a foul. And that will be on Marcus Smart. Anytime that Markel Brown is near the rim, it's usually going to be entertaining. Well, we've talked about he's been one of the best athletes in the Big 12 the last couple of years. And his skill levels improved. Watch out. Mark to steal in the dunk, and we are tied at 11 2 run. And his pressures come out of nowhere. <laughs> Sell out crowd here at Gallagher Iba Arena. At a packed house on New Year's Eve, they want to check out the Cowboys in a win over number 10, Gonzaga. 14 straight years, they've beaten a ranked opponent inside this building. Where do you pick that up? That's what I want to know. Where do you get that? Do they sell it at the school store, do you pick it up? Cowboy Bookstore. Why not? A lot of orange in this place tonight. We've seen so many great games through the years. Think back to the Eddie Sutton days and the John Lucas the thirds and the Ivan McFarlands and the Final Four team. And when this building is packed like it is tonight, John, it comes alive. And the success in here versus ranked teams speaks for itself. Well, you've seen this place many times when it's been jumping. And I mean, considered one of the, the tougher environments for road teams to deal with at all the college hoops. Well, and they've got a good young team right now. You really look at it, their young stars are freshmen and sophomores, and why wouldn't you want to come out and watch these guys play? Inside, they get Nash for bumping Elias Harris. Now, here's what you have to watch out for if you're the three officials. Gonzaga, and I saw this in the Baylor game, they do a great job of posting up inside, but they're going to make some of those officiating videos because they deep displace the defensive player at times because they're so physical. But give them credit because they do post up strong and physically. Nash sits with two fouls. Kamari Murphy, the freshman, checks in. Freshman from Brooklyn. And now Bell trapped on the sideline. They got a good double team. Smart just reached in from Bell. Grabbed that ball and tied him up. Stays with Gonzaga. Remember the Zags, even though they have that depth up front, they're playing without Kelly Olynyk, who picked up that second foul about midway through this first half. Offensive foul. They get Sam Dower. 
When you guard Gonzaga inside, you've got to be strong enough to hold your ground and play what I call vertically. You have to just put your hands to the ceiling and make them shoot over you. That time it was Kyle Cobbins, I think, did a terrific job of just staying vertical. Cowboys trying to take the lead here. And they do. First lead since it was 3-0. See, I would double Pangos on all those pick and rolls. Now watch Marcus Smart now. He's going to come off that high ball screen. Little bounce into a pull-up jumper. Mid-paint, mid-range. Just created enough separation. You got to be old enough to know who Quinn Buckner was, John. You and I do. Quinn Buckner who played at Indiana on that undefeated team in 76. He played on a gold medal team. He won a high school state title, won an NBA title with the Celtics. Coached in the NBA announcer. This kid is like Quinn Buckner. You throw the stats out and you just ask yourself, does he help your team win? And that's what Marcus Smart does. Now, Kevin Pangos, on the other hand, he came off that ball screen. The defender showed, the big guy, and he dribbled right into his hip knowing that the defender wasn't going to get out of the way. 17 fouls on Oklahoma State, eight on Gonzaga. Pangos gets one out of two. And the Cowboys lead by a point. Under 90 seconds to go here first half. John Shabby, Fran Priscilla in Stillwater. Happy New Year's, everybody. Mike pulls up. That's a tough one. Marcus Smart had that big game against NC State, but the freshman has impacted the Cowboys team in so many ways, both offensively and defensively. And a little bit of luck there for the Zags as that pass was deflected. And now they'll set it up. Good matchup right here. Pangos and Smart. Ooh, oh, oh, boy. Man. <laughs> Marcus Smart's got really quick hands. He was just waiting for a piece of that basketball. Reached in now. He's making his case. Take a look now. Watch him reach. And that's, see, he reached across his body, John. And that's a good call. Now, you saw what he did to Lorenzo Brown of NC State in Puerto Rico. He's really active defensively. He's had the impact in terms of steals, 2.7 steals per game. He's had at least four steals in a game five different times. Well, he's got that Venus flytrap-like length and quickness. And that time he, uh, he was baiting Pangos, but Pangos is a pretty, 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 pretty cool customer. So the road team by a point. Pangos with a brilliant first half. Nine seconds difference. Game clock to shot clock. Murphy being harassed by Harris. Underneath, they get a foul. And that's on Guy Landrietti. Gary Bell was guarding Phil Forte. It shows you the kind of respect they have for the, the freshman who can really shoot it. Kirby Gardner didn't come get the ball, and Kamari Brown was stuck out there on an island and had to drive to the rim. He's going to go to the line for one and one. Philip Jurek was started now 10 straight games for them. So home state team's been banged up. Jurek suffered an injury at the end of last year, blew out his Achilles. He's not 100 percent And now Gonzaga after the miss will hold for the last shot up a point. See if they go high ball screen right here. Gower sets it. 
Bengals looking for space, launches, and that missed everything. Good first half. Gonzaga on the road, led by the sophomore Kevin Pangos, 18 first half points, and the Zags lead it at the break, 32 to 31. Time now for the Land Rover halftime report. We send it back to the studio. Chris Cotter, Seth Friedman. Hey John, Land Rover halftime report. Chris Connor along with the coach, Coach Greenberg. And coach, I tell you what, you, you come into this game here uh, with you know Oklahoma State, and they're taking on the 10th ranked team in the country, a Gonzaga team with a great resume. But they start the game behind the eight ball already because their best score, their top score is on the bench. What happened? Yeah, when you're the best player in your basketball team, you have a responsibility. You've got to be responsible and accountable. You cannot start the game on the bench. Whatever the suspension's for, whether it's for five minutes or it's for two minutes, you need to be there when the ball goes up. He put his team at a huge disadvantage. Very selfish of LeBron Nash. Yeah, LeBron Nash did come back into the game uh, after a little while, but Oklahoma State was down in the game. He didn't really contribute all that much.